that now. Oh, oi, oi. You. Hello, Mr. here's Parker. Let's get the wee arm. Hello. The back line, yes, we are. What are we doing, Parker? A lovely unboxing. Um, Hello. Massive... What are we doing an unboxing of, Parker? Dropfleet Commander. <sighs> um, <a> massive <sighs> thanks to um, Chris and the guys at Wildstorm Games and Great Chris Yarmouth. And Chris and Andy. Um, Our new favourite people. If you're going to Great Yarmouth, check out Wildstorm Games. And if you're not going there, then check out Wildstorm Games on the interwebs. When um, they get it done. When they get it done. Um, but yes, go there. Great shop, great atmosphere, and yeah, everybody yeah. is just bloody lovely. If you've, if you've, we, we've been to tournaments there. We hope to do. We, we've done a, a, a co-hosted a tournament there. So if you, if, you know, be there or be square. Yes. Hopefully, I'll try and put a link in down below. Boink. Good idea. Or up in the corner. If I can do it in the corner, I will. If I can't, it will be down below. So you'll find out at some point. Um, but they have sent us. Drop Fleet Commander. Oh, shall I have a boxer? Proper dun, excited. Dun, 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 Proper dun, excited. Dun, dun. Okay, Parky. Um, oh, I've zoomed in on the box. Awesome. Great cover. I love that cover. Nice. Explosions. Yep. Things blown up. Oh, did you see, um... Oh, you wouldn't have seen on Facebook, would you? Andy Chambers had um, done his scourge. Oh, really? Awesome. Nice. He goes, yeah, they weren't hard to do. So it's the back of the box. So you get stuff. You get some spaceships through the, P the UCM. Uh, some spaceships for the Scourge. I think there are three cruisers and four frigates of each. Um, and some stuff here in the bottom of the thing. Okay, well, crack it open, Let's fella. Crack it open. First time we've opened it. This came a little bit open at the end here, but the first time. Right, we've so I'm going to turn it over now so you can see what you've got. Okay. Alright. Oh, I should come and look. Right. So, off comes the plastic. Snip it. Sniff the box. Oh, oh yeah. So we've got. That's a big old rule book. Yeah. Good so, God. Oh, it's got the bits rule as well. book. Couple of maps, but mostly the rule book. Um, we'll come back to that because we want to have a look at toy soldiers first. Actually, no. We'll have a look at the rule book first. So, if you've got a pokey, please draw. Have I got oh, a pokey? Oh, I don't need one, but I might need one later. So, if you've got a pokey, what for? For for plastic and stuff. Oh, you well, we'll worry about that. When we get so, to it. this it's is a meaty rule book. Is the main rule book? It's a meaty old thing. That looks like it's in a box. It is in a box because wow. it's a landscape rule book. Ah. Uh, so there's the front artwork. There's the back cover. Uh, it is the standard rule book. It is not a cut down version of the rule book. It is a full. Rulebook version 1.1 or whatever it is. Now I'll tell you already what I like about that. The fact it's in a box means you're not going to get your edges of your pages crumpled with all no. the toys in the way. So it is a Ooh. landscape thing. Ooh. I like the uh, that's the uh, what's the that? big one, the Avenger, which is the um, which you see at demos, isn't it? Yeah, the big uh, full size one. Which is is it one of these on the oh. On the back of It'll the be box. on the back of the box, uh, which I'll show them in a sec. So, main rule book, and again, like I say, it's the core rule book. There's no like, um, it's a cut down version. You get everything. If you wanted to go out and buy the, the rule book separately, this is what you'd get. You'd get this. So, nice artwork of spaceships and people saluting. And <laughs> people saluting. And the, the fluff in this is the fully up to date fluff as well. So this is as up to date as the fluff for um, the Drop Fleet slash Drop Zone world. So yes. you can now go. So you can do Drop Fleet, and then you can go to Drop Zone. Yeah, they will be. I believe they will be doing um, like full campaign rules, so that you can do one thing and, and then work your way out the other. That'd be nice. Um, so we've got pictures of stuff, rules, nicely laid out book. I like the, uh, you know, I mean, they are very good at, at doing rule books. Scenarios, uh, more pictures of stuff, Ooh. pictures of drop zone stuff. Oh, and they've got uh, drop fleet play. commander campaigns and tournament play and integrating drop fleet commander with drop zone. Funny, we were just talking about that. Ba bum. Uh, how to play. Oh, so oh, you've got full, full well, pictures of all of the, the ships. So this is the... Colonial Fleet. The UCM. 
colonies. And again, you've got these little pictures of these are what the escape pods look like. That's oh, yeah, I got. like it when they do that. So you can see what's what on, on your little models, on your toy soldiers. Well, these are toy spaceships, you fool. Well, you know what I mean. Oh, and then you've got... Oh, so what the fighters and the bombers look like. And awesome. the landers and the dropships. And the ground. That's quite cool. Um... Because you won't be able to see them in the game because they're too small to have relevance in game. Oh. So they're the spaceships. So you've got full page things on each spaceship with a with stats and a bit of blurb and like apparently it displaces 25 million metric cubes of stuff. <laughs> Whatever that means. It's 1.2 kilometers long, which is quite cool. I like stuff like that because it gives you a, like, a real world kind of idea of how big these things are. Because um, sometimes it's hard to tell when they're in this sort of scale. So there you've got the St. Petersburg, the Rio. Her name is Rio! Different oh. kinds of ships, which is nice. Really nice to see then good quality artwork. Stuff. Scourge one looking cool and spooky and weird. The Raju and the Sphincter. Sphinx. <laughs> he said Sphincter! <laughs> Oh, and a little thing I just noticed is this always good, right? Colour code on the sides. Colour coding on the, on, the, on the edges of the pages so you can see what you're flicking through to. UCM. Good. With oh, all of their, I like um, them. What do you call them? I keep forgetting I've got UCM bloody yeah. thing for thingy. Awesome. Any excuse to buy ships? They so look like they open up like hell from the sides on them ones, don't yeah, they? Yeah. Rail guns firing! Shaltari. I've seen a couple of the Shaltari stuff already. I think they look... Gorgeous. They're just bizarre. Dark. They all do the weird gate things, don't yeah, they? Yeah, so they can teleport around and stuff and can beam things in. Oh, pretty. Nice. Pretty. Oh, pretty. So that's the rule book. And then in the back, you've got a lovely index because we like indexes. We do it'll like tell you indexes. How stuff is. You've got things you can photocopy. Uh, and what, usually there's a usual nugget or two at the last page. So you've got fluff in there as well. And all the fluff kind of follows through the main rule book and you've got full descriptions of everything. I think there's a sort of cool space stations. Oh so there's space station packs which you can build, which are cool because you can then fight over those. And there's a, there we go. So that's the Avenger oh, it's the Avenger class or uh, the UCMS Avenger, which is a New Orleans class striker carrier. So that's like your all of the dropships come out of here, so you use that to then drop things into orbit. Because one of the interesting things about this game that I'm really looking forward to is it's not just about fighting in space, you're fighting over a planet and you're trying to get assets onto the ground to, uh -huh. to kind of, you know, to land into stuff. So we've got a couple of sticker sheets. We have one for the Scourge and one for the UCM. Uh, these little weird stickers here are how you uh, work out your elevation and your signature. So your elevation, because you're going to be in high orbit, medium orbit or low orbit. Um, and you want to be in low orbit to drop stuff, stuff in. I got you right, yeah, yeah, cool. Um, and your signature, if effectively you're giving off energy so people can see you and they're more likely to hit you. So you've got a range on your weapons and your opponent's got a signature. You add those two together and that's how far you can see them or not. Oh right, that's cool. So you can go you can do things like going at silent running so that people can't see you from far away. Or on the flip side you can go weapons free but people, everyone can see you because you're lit up like a Christmas tree. Uh -huh. um, nice little touch, they've got lots of um, names for ships. So Chasm of Hope and Ancient Abyss. That's what I call your mother! Uh, slaughterer. <laughs> Grain Slayer. There you the Scourge ones, whereas your uh, Oh, I UCM like the Dragon are... Battleship for the Scourge. It kind of oh, looks nice. like it's got tendrils yeah. underneath it. And... <laughs> oh. So that's that. We've got a couple of cheat sheets. Cheat sheets are your... always good. Your fast play stuff on there, so you've got all of your uh, your, sh your Moscow, your Berlin, and your Seattle for your uh, UCM, and your Shenlong, your Ifrit, and your Wyvern. So are they the ones that you would be building up, are they? Yeah, they do have a recommended setup for your ships. 
Well, that's which, handy. Which is handy. So you just, you know you build the ones that they tell you to build, and then you've got kind of a fair, a fair balanced kind of game setup. So this one at the top is a Moscow, which has got lots of guns on it. This one is a Berlin, which has got a burn through laser. Beep. And this one is your Seattle, which I think is kind of your standard, your standard cruiser. I think and that's a battle cruiser. And then over here we've got other ones for the scourge. And then on the back you've got your damage tables, your, you know, how what what you need to roll dice on and stuff. So cool. like fast cheat sheets, always good. Uh, here we've got um, your. What the hell are they? Well, you've got your debris fields at the top. Oh, for when you blow ships up, yeah. When you blow ships up and flying through them and stuff. And these are your sectors, which are like your city bases on the ground. Oh, these right. are the places you're fighting over. Now, the, interestingly, I saw an interview with um, Dave, Dave Lewis, I think his name yep. is, uh, the, the creator of the game, and he was saying they were going to put them on thicker cardstock. The reason they put them on this thin stuff is because then you can rest the bases on them without them, because they're going to be on the thing. Oh, ah, right. So that's quite a nice little touch. Everyone likes the last little touch. Then we've got some more cards. These are for your so you, assets, I would say. Yeah, yeah. So you've got, you've got your fighters and bombers um, for yellow and purple, so UCM and Scourge in this case. And then you've got ground assets, so you've got your soldiers, so which are like your infantry and your armoured. Um, you've got torpedo. Torpedo it away! Oh. Um, and then these are the... So these are clusters, right? and I think these are sectors, so they're areas within the... So imagine this is like a big, massive central city like London, right? Um, and then these are parts, like suburbs if you like, Okay. and you can have communications, you can have power, you can have military bases, you can have factories and stuff, you can have urban stuff, mm -hmm. and then they give you various bonuses within the game depending on what's there. Oh, awesome! So you can, you can say, oh, I'm going to take this, which is the military base, so that gets me a chance to shoot up into orbit. Oh, I like that. Or I can take the defence one, so I can then hunker down and I then don't get affected by orbital bombardment. Very or nice, whatever. very nice, like that. I like don't that know exactly the rules, I'm, I'm just kind of paraphrasing here. These will be some sort of in-game token as well. Sorry, already I'm really, really intrigued on how this plays, because yeah. the one thing me and Parker do, uh, I don't know whether you guys have actually started to notice it, but Parker... We always do this, this, do it this way for our boxings because Parker does a lot of the um, research online to check all the new games that are coming out and stuff like that. And then I make a point of not actually learning anything. So then when Parker teaches me, we can film it, and it's like a complete noob playing a game for you. Yeah. And this is already I'm like, oh, I'm interested in playing this bugger. Yeah, because it, it's very, it's very, um, you know, there's a story. You're not just bumping into each other yeah. in the in open space. You're trying to take a planet. I mean, because no, we started drop playing Drop Zone Commander, and we only got a few games done with it, but I really enjoyed it. I did, I did. So we are going to have to get back and start doing all Definitely of this. Especially now. Oh, yes. So these what? these are the standard cards for the uh, the setups that you will you are guided to create in the box. So what you do is you, you split this splits up into four, you, you cut it up, and then you have a battle group. So you, you, you set your battle groups up, you have... In this case, they have three cards each, right? So I'll have three cards, and I'll say I want to use this battle group first, that battle group second, and this battle group third. They'll be face down, and the first one I use, one I use, will be on top. So and you'll do the same. So we'll both flip, flip our battle group, mm -hmm. and then whoever's got the lowest strategy rating goes first. Right. So you've got like a certain, like a, a battle group. I'll flip mine. I'll, I might go first or second. So I'll then move that lot, and then you move your lot. But we'll also know that within within our kind of mini decks, um, who's then going to activate later on the turn. So you have to organise, I'm going to move this, then I'm going to move those, then I'm going to move these. Okay. Organised, you don't see them. So maybe I've gone, right, I'm going to activate this, and suddenly you're activating that, and I didn't know you were going to activate that. But then later in the turn... Similar to drop zone, it's the same sort of thing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, that's cool. And they've done those for you already. They will be releasing decks of these cards that you can write on. Um, which are like the blank ones in the bottom corner here. Um, I think that they're coming out at some point. So do you get, because I don't know, will you get decks of those with um, ships that you buy? I think they're doing them as a separate pack. Separate I pack. think they're just okay, doing cool. one deck of cards and you'll buy that and it will just cover you for 
from now until whenever. Okay, awesome. Uh, rules for, I say rules, instructions on how to build the spaceships. You better let me have a look at them. <laughs> Which look pretty good. How to build stuff. Uh, this is your scenario thing. Um, same way as they did for Drop Fleet Commander, you've got kind of a basic standard scenario where you set up the board and you play straight off of that. There are other scenarios in the main rulebook. But that's just you can just get down to start playing. And a turn sequence guide, which we like. Anything like that is always really handy. Um, then we've got some maps, some mappy maps. So I think you get two and put them together. I'm not sure if you get two and put them together. You've got posters on the on the, on the non-map side, so that's some space and stuff with the exploded stuff. And then that is your that's what we play over, is it? Yeah. Oh, awesome! So you've got your little, that's a little town with rivers and stuff, and you've got a mountain range down one side. Um, and then I think, if I'm right in saying, oh god, careful! Hang on, what are you doing? There we go. So that's a poster on the other side of the second map, which I think is the cover of the yeah. box, isn't it? That there we go. Oh, good lord! It all goes together. I think that goes there. What does it? I don't know. No, actually, it looks like it goes the other way. Yeah. That yeah, that's it. Yeah, so that's the tip of the mountain range there. there so that then goes together, and that's what you find. Obviously, you've got a big lake, you've got your mountain range, you've got your your kind of urban area, and then you place the oh dear. those zony things. These. So these uh, spaces, you place them about and they are objective points. Right. They are releasing a separate maps. Uh, they are, I think they're in talks with someone to do um, uh, neoprene. Yeah, I think I'd want a neop well. neoprene one. Um, and I think they've seen, so you, in the map pack that you'll get, which is something well, you can buy, which is similar to this, they're going to be doing... Um, double-sided ones uh -huh. and you'll be having some as they are and then some others with clouds on so it depends oh. on what you prefer and one of the nice ones I saw was nighttime so obviously everything's all lit up oh it's really, really cool. very pretty yeah if you go on a piece of war there's an interview with Dave at some point and you can check that cool so that's what you find over because it's space but you're on a planet you're not just you're not in, in the space. depths of space let's face it space is pretty bloody big the yeah. chances of you even finding each other are pretty damn slim yeah. at least in your, in your in a, a, you know the orbit of a planet you kind of know where you are yeah right. so that's that's, so that's, that's all your, your that's your all the flat, gump your flat stuff so now you get to the uh, now we get to the, the shiz so here's the big important one the coolest thing he says. So you've got some dice. We like their dice. Dice. You've got a little Hawk War Games keychain. Um, Sandy, because you've got measure. one of them already from the That's other nice. set. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got the, widget, the the flight stands with their widgets. Which are cool. I oh, know it was a joke. Here's the really cool I was going to say, what, what, what? Oh, badge. So, you've got a box with the Scourge. Or a box of bag. Oh, God, I've still got my other Scourge to put together as yet. Yeah. Well, yeah, because we swapped, didn't we? Yeah. We gave each other the... We, we got a basic set of Drop Zone Commander, and he got one as well, and I took all the Scourge, and he took all the UCM. Yeah. So these are the weird bases. Right. So you're, uh, you get the bottom bit of the base, mm -hmm. and then the top bit... He don't remember. So these stickers that I was telling you, which have the, um, the heights and stuff, Yeah. so they go into here, right. so those stickers go into here, and then you put the top plastic bit onto there. Right. Right. So then, as you spin it, you'll see different colours. You'll see different colours, and it will work. It will tell you then right. what height you're at and stuff like that. And I think they then go on. They must go to the top. I think they go on here, so then you can mark the the amount of hits with these little tokens. All oh, right. Yeah. And they've also got uh, a fire arc, so the front narrow, which oh, is your, your raised bit, and then you've got your lines. For Are they easy to see? They will be once they're painted. I would personally, I'd probably paint some white on there just to... Or a silver pen. Or a silver pen would work as well, definitely. And then I'd probably also maybe mark the hit one with like red, just so you can see, because it's a little plug out and you, yeah. it's just easier to see. Yeah. 
and then we've got the plastic for the spaceships, which look really, really nice. Can we have a bit of a zoom in, guys, George? Bloody hell! I know I'm a bit of a dick. Not just a bit. You're the whole no. dick. All of it. Okay, where are you? I'm here. Okay, let me zoom in so the wonderful people at home. Can you just move that way slightly? Now, now that's just beautiful. So if I just stop wobbling the camera like a dick, and if I just flip that round. Awesome. That's I great. know. There you go. There we go. So there we've got uh, some of the things. So these, I think, are for the smaller ships, which are these ones, um, which are the gargoyles, I think, and the hydras. So here you've got things that can shoot down into atmosphere, like drop plasma. Um, here are ones with missiles. Um, I'm not 100% sure what everything does yet. But they're really nice. They feel the plastic feels really solid. It looks it. Um, not getting a lot of flex like you normally would on the on the sprue. So I don't know if it's a different kind of hard plastic. I th I'm pretty sure it does work with um, standard plastic glue though. Uh, and they they they're talking a lot about one could magnetize if one wanted because these bits here, these little ball joints, are what join onto here. So you can, you've got a certain amount of posability. Yeah, you could you magnetize, magnetize them, them, but it, you, it's a lot of work. Though, yeah. but it's a great idea. But also, it just means that you can pose them a little bit. So mm. if you've got three the same, they can look slightly different. Yeah. Especially for Scourge, because they're supposed to be all weird and wobbly. Yeah. But so that's, weird and wobbly. That's your four frigates. So I think you'll end up having two harpies and two gargoyles, if you go by the, by the standard thing. And here Where we, is the list of what you have to make? Uh, they're on the on, uh, so on the so I can have a look at there. that, so I know what I'm doing when I have to put them um, together. And there we've got the, the, the bigger cruisers. Um, so it looks like you get two sides for each, yeah, two sides for the main body, and then you've got these which fit in with your uh, so you can do the posability. So was it five? Further on out. Five ships for. I think it's a scourge. I think seven for each, four of one and four of and three of the bigger ships and four of the smaller ships. I'll show you. Yeah, you're going to have to because I'm stupid. Uh, so there we go. Really like the detail on the Scourge stuff, really come out very crisply, really has. Um, I don't know how well you can see I'm it. reckoning those ones, you know, I might be able to just airbrush them. Yeah, yeah, quite probably. Bit of inking. Really nice. Uh, and they're the same sprues. That we just so it's three, three sprues the same? So it's three big three sprues, which are frigate, frigate sprues, and they can make multiple versions of the same one. Mm -hmm. um, or, sorry, three cruisers, and then you've got your one frigate sprue, which is your, main, your four main bodies, and then you can pick your different kind of pairs it's. of wings, if you like. Cool. Um, and then we'll move on to the UCM. <laughs> so we've got, again we've got the same base thing which we had, which we've already had a look at, and now we've got a similar thing, we've got a frigate sprue, so there's your main bodies of your frigates, and then I think you've got a, like a, a, a top bit which kind of slips into the back where you've got this like, little notch here. Oh yeah. They then slip into that like that, so you've got a, uh, like a bridge and then a gravity nullifier, or whatever that thing's called. You've got your mass driver turrets, which are these things here, so you're essentially your big guns. And then you've got your, these are your point defence lasers, which go on the sides. Um, and then you've got, not 100% sure... Other stuff. <laughs> Other stuff. No, no, don't know. Without kind of putting it all together, we don't really know what they're going to be. I think these, yeah, we well, don't really know. And then these are going to be your your main, the big buggers, your main cruisers. So it looks like you've got your main body here, which will be your left and right side of your main. Yeah, body. they glue together. Yep, and you've got a little. Uh, There's little pylony bits that stick out from the underneath. 
which will be these bits, I think. Yeah, then there's two sort of engine mounts that go on the sides. Uh, which I think are going to be these. Yeah, and then you start getting all your options. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're your engine mounts there. And then these ones, I quite like that you've got the... Uh, so, these bits here are the top parts of your hangar bays, if you're taking one of the ones with, with the, the fleet rule or whatever it is, where you can have your fighters and stuff. And these are your underneath, so you can see all the little fighters lined up, fighters and bombers lined up ready to launch. And in there you can see the inside of it, so you know, there's, there's lots of opportunities for painting stuff up. Um, and there are your two larger guns, more guns there. There you will but all kind of drop stuff. And then these ones are for your... Oh. So you can actually drop stuff out the front of it. Oh. Um, I mean, I guess troop ships kind of thing. Troop ships, yeah. yeah. Oh, so lots that? of cool stuff. Don't really know what any of it does yet. We're just going to build the basic, yeah. what it tells you to in the box. Yeah. Um, and that's that. Uh, really looking forward to playing this. Um, we I mean, do... Firstly, we can say oh, I'm really impressed with it. Yeah, I mean, the, the, plastics. the plastics are amazing. The detail oh, is just stunning. Christ almighty, they are very clear, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, really crisp, really clean. Um, I mean, if you have a look at some of the UCM stuff, you know, the, uh, seeing all the little point defence oh, lasers and the engine blocks and all that kind of stuff. I mean, yeah, they don't even, I mean, even the little gun bits. There's no give in there. There's no give, yeah. And normally you something know, like that wobbly. would just be snapping like buggery. Yeah, so I don't oh. know if it's a special kind of plastic that they're using. It's nice though, I, um, I really like it. Yeah, really looking forward to getting it together. Yeah, yeah. very nice, very crisp detail. And I've got a feeling it will be a case of just, you know, a light, I mean, obviously I don't know how Straw wants to paint the UCM, but right, you no, no, paint we'll, the we'll uh, Scourge. Don't worry about them, I mean, you can see I've got a feeling it's going to be lots crisp. of inks. There you go, look at the detail on that, it's bloody perfect. Yeah. Awesome detail. Really Cracking nice. job by the, des the designers. Yeah. Well, it's all Dave, who design-wise. Does he do it yeah, all, does he? does it all. Awesome. All on his, his, on his CAD, on his computer stuff. Beautiful. A couple of labour of love for him. Beautiful. No, really looking forward to playing it. Um, so all in all, very happy, really appreciate it from um, Wildstorm. Wildstorm! <laughs> Massive thanks to you guys. Um, so go and check them out in the comments down below. Or in the corner. Or in the corner, if I can get it in but there. As you can see, it's a lot of stuff in a box. A lot of stuff in a box. Looking forward to it. I, I don't know anything more about the game. I mean, I know it's, you know, the rules seem fairly, not simple, but at least easy to get to grips with. I like the idea of your actually trying to get stuff onto a planet rather than just we're meeting in space. Um, I know that this is the rule, but the thing. I think wave one is the kind of essentially boxes of cruisers and frigates. And then I think wave two is battleships. Ooh. So like the big, the big beasties. Ooh. So uh, we'll, I mean, we'll get a game in and then we'll, we'll, we'll let you know how it goes. We'll, we'll film it. Oh yeah, yeah, we sure um, will. I love with the we we know it's the same thing with drop zone commander the starter boxes are great you know you get everything you need you know, i love that you've got proper sheets of how yep. to do stuff yep. um you know an idea of like right you should probably build this this and this because you're going to need these things in a game and then you can expand on that um cracking love it really looking forward to getting it on the table yeah. Uh, so, don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked it and want to subscribe. If you don't like it, don't want to subscribe. Don't like and subscribe, but we'd really like it if you liked and subscribed. And until next time, keep wanking. <laughs> Stay hammered. Yeah.